What's up guys, my name is Jimmy Champagne and today I'm here with a new type of video for my channel. So one of the biggest things I'm always asked for is Netflix recommendations. I've done a few lists on this channel but I thought of this new idea that I think will work a lot better. I'm calling it the scariest movie on Netflix. And to boil it down, what I'm going to do every month is go through the entire horror category on Netflix, pick out the scariest movie on there, and give you a quick review to let you know why you should check it out. So for this month's movie, I picked Hush. It's a movie that was created by Netflix, and it's directed by Mike Flanagan, who also directed Oculus, A Ouija Origin of Evil, and the newly released adaptation of Gerald's Game. It stars Kate Siegel as Maddie. She's a writer who's deaf and mute, and she lives out in the woods in a big cabin all by herself, which is scary on its own. It gets even scarier, though, when a masked psychopath tries to kill her. He's only called the man, and that's all you ever learn about him. So the first big thing that makes Hush scary, because you know home invasion movies aren't anything new, is that Mike Flanagan is a total master of the genre. He knows what we're going to expect as horror fans, and he totally flips it on his head every time. I guess one thing that really always got to me in this movie is the fake out jump scares. He always knows how to set them up in really obvious ways so you anticipate it, you can almost feel it coming and then it doesn't happen and that exhale you let out you're like wow I was really tensing up because you're preparing to be scared and then not being scared totally confuses you and puts you off guard and I really like that. Another big thing that makes this movie scary is the fact that the killer really has no motivation. He seemingly picks Maddie's house at random and decides to kill her. And it's pretty cool. It's actually very scary and it reminds me a lot of The Strangers or Halloween. And finally, the way they handle the fact that Maddie is deaf and mute is super respectful. They obviously did a lot of research so this wasn't just a gimmick. It's an actual benefit to the movie and I think that's really cool and it's very hard to do right so I appreciated that. Maddie is also a really strong and intelligent character. She's kind of an analog for the way Mike Flanagan directed this movie because she's always one step ahead of the man. You actually do get to see scenes where she makes big dumb mistakes and it totally gets you every time and then it pulls back and zooms out and you realize that you're watching her think ahead and I think that's awesome. One of the biggest complaints I always see is that horror movies are no longer original and I gotta say that this movie is as original as it gets which is why I have no problem calling it the scariest thing on Netflix right now. So what do you think? Did I do a good job picking the scariest movie on Netflix right now? You should let me know down in the comments below or on Instagram and Twitter at Jimmy Champagne. I have a ton of other horror movie reviews on this channel so if you're here you may as well stick around because you probably will find something you like.